Hi dear friends, welcome. I hope you are having a great time. Today I'm back with a useful topic. Downloading DM or digital elevation models using USGS website. But before, I'd be glad if you subscribe and like the video. You can also super like or join the membership. Your support means a lot to us. Great, now let's see how we can download DEMs. To begin, on the first step, we should go to the USGS website. If you're new, you can read about the USGS here. Now, from the results, I click Earth Explorer to go straight to their data portal. Notice that you can only download data when you've logged into your account. If you don't know one, you'll need to create that. Alright, to do so, just click the login option on the upper right side. Then, sign in if you already have an account, or create a new one if you don't, which I leave this to you because it's so simple. After signing in, we should determine our area of interest. So, zoom into your area and draw a polygon by clicking on the map. All the clicked points are here and you can delete them to redraw your area again. When you're done with that, click on the data sets up here which redirects us to the data selection section. As you can see, there is a wide variety of data types here that can be downloaded. Since I'm looking for the DEM, so I use the search bar and search for SRTM. Make sure that you click on the all masses results because we want to check all the SRDM data to see which one mostly covers our area or which one is the best one and such. As soon as you hit that, you'll see all the SRTM data toggled on. Now all you have to do is just click on the results up here to show the products of all the selected data sets. Now you'll see a list of all available SRTM data. Your job is to find the one that best fits your area. In front of each data, you can see some info about the ID, date, and so on. But below that, there are some handy options that are helpful. Using the footprints, you can see the geographic coverage of the data. Next to that, there is an image icon. If you click on that, you can see a preview of that data on the map, which makes it easier to choose the perfect DEM. Great! After finding the right data, it's time to download it. To do so, just hit the download option here. All the downloadable files appear. We'll go with GeoTIFF since it's compatible with most software. When the file was downloaded, I opened the QGIS to display the downloaded DEM.
And here we go. The digital elevation model was imported successfully. Now it's ready for further analysis. Also, I'm going to change the symbology of the DEM. And from symbology, I set the render type to plat it. Then from the color ramp, I select the gradient color and OK it. To visualize and interpret it better using the QuickMap Services plugin, which I've already made a video on how to install it, I add a base map to the background of the DEM. Great! Mission accomplished! The digital elevation model was downloaded and imported successfully. If you found this video helpful, I'd be glad if you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much! Until next one, stay safe!